Are you currently stuck in the daily grind of cold calling and door knocking to really try to gain some new prospects? Well, depending on how thick your skin is, this whole outbound strategy of marketing yourself to try to get some new leads can only last for so long. What often happens is you end up getting burned out because you get really tired of the constant onslaught of rejection over really the few leads that you're actually able to capture, which at the end of the day are few and far between. Or best case scenario, you end up super busy because you've been able to churn out a bunch of prospects that you've turned into clients from all of your you know, cold calling and door knocking. However, the process now makes you very super busy and you essentially stop prospecting altogether. And then what happens is really once you fulfill the needs of those clients, you end up really starting back from ground zero on the same grind again of prospecting through cold calling and door knocking and sending out postcards to try to generate some new leads. I'm sure you've probably heard it from coaches or maybe digital marketing nerds like myself that really the sweet spot to try to get over this hump is that you need to become an authority in the marketplace. You see, by becoming an authority, a few things end up happening. One of which is your prospects end up coming to you instead of you trying to reach out to them. Emmanuel here, and in today's video, I wanna break down five strategies that you can start using and really start implementing in your business to start turning you into an authority in real estate. All right, guys, honest question. Do you wanna stop cold calling and door knocking and sending out mass mailers to neighborhoods just to try to get some new prospects? Well, I have the solution for you, my friends. And that solution is to become an authority. Yep, I said it right. If you want prospects to start coming to you who actually wanna start working with you, then you gotta understand that the magic recipe to do this is really to gain authority. So what exactly is authority when it comes to digital marketing? Well, the easy way to explain it is that once you become an authority, it really helps you garner and earn the attention of new or potential clients. You see, being an authority positions you as an expert. And let's be honest here, most prospects prefer to work with an expert in a particular vertical versus, you know, just a generalist. Now, my goal for today's video is to really break down some very simple strategies to help you become more of an authority in your particular market or in your particular niche. But before I get into it, you guys know the deal. Make sure you click the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon because you know it helps out the channel. It appeases the YouTube gods, aka the algorithm, and good karma on you for doing it. Thank you so much in advance. So strategy number one, as it comes to building authority in your marketplace, boils down to making sure that you're providing authority in the right place. The idea here is that you need to figure out what you want to specialize in or a location that you wanna centralize your prospecting efforts towards, and then you have to do a little research. And by research, I mean formulating a plan to figure out where the majority of your five-star prospects really hang out in the interwebs. Do you find that the majority of people that you idealize as your perfect client really hang out on LinkedIn? Or maybe they spend most of their time on Facebook? Or do they spend a whole bunch of time on TikTok or maybe Clubhouse? Strategy number one is all about identifying where your prospects are and choosing the platform as your central platform moving forward to start delivering your authority to. By the way, here is a quick pro tip. You see, many realtors, after going through this exercise, think that their prospects are all over the place. They're in LinkedIn, they're in YouTube, they're in Instagram, they're in Facebook, they're in Twitter, they're in TikTok. Granted, they may be in all of these locations, but you're gonna find out very quickly. If you're gonna try to be engaging in all of these platforms, you're gonna end up burning out super quick. And that's simply because there is just way too much content to be managing across multiple platforms. Now, if you do not have a team to back you through this process of being in many places at once, the honest recommendation is to focus on one platform for at least one year. Then after one year, after you've gotten that authority on that platform, then you can start thinking about branching out to other ways to really create and curate more content and repurpose it on other platforms. Alrighty, strategy number two is all about content cadence. You see, the winners of the digital marketing game know one underlying principle for becoming an authority. And that principle is the people that win in digital marketing and social media are the people that show up every single day. That essentially means that you have to create content and a cadence to that content that will allow you to show up every single day to your marketplace. 
Now, the easy way to create this cadence is by creating categories that you feel comfortable sharing or writing them out and then whipping out a calendar and then start plotting out these categories on specific days. And then from there, you're going to want to start time blocking to make sure that you can create the actual content and start scheduling them out to be published on the days that you've outlined on the calendar. By the way, I made a really great video about really beating the social media anxiety and scheduling out posts for about 30 days. I'm gonna leave the link in the description below and I'm gonna leave it like right, I think it's gonna be over here somewhere. So the main point of this is that you need to develop a cadence to creating content and publishing it on a daily basis. All right, strategy number three is all about developing your voice. Now, I only bring this particular strategy up because one of the things I often see being misused is that once you've figured out that, hey, you need to show up on a regular basis to create content and curate content on these platforms, uh, most realtors end up pawning off this particular duty of creating content to a VA or an assistant. All right, I need to have a real talk conversation with you for a moment. So let me zoom in on my face real quick and tell you that if you're gonna pawn off creating content to someone else, this is the worst idea that you can ever do. Emphasize on the worst idea you can ever do. You see, there is no way, shape or form that someone that has less experience in real estate than you do can speak about real estate and the expertise of real estate to your capacity. And if you delegate this particular task, what ends up happening is your messaging that you're putting out there into the world ends up sounding very canned and bland. So instead, a better strategy for you to utilize when developing your voice is to actually start creating the content yourself. And once that content is created, then you can delegate the task of publishing out that content to maybe a VA or an assistant. You see, one of the key components of becoming an authority is your voice and your personality. So don't try to pawn this particular responsibility off on someone else. This responsibility should be strictly dedicated to you. All right, strategy number four is all about developing your visual brand. Now, this particular strategy is based on the premise that you want people to start recognizing you not only for your face, but for your colors and your typography and your logo and your voice. You see, all these factors are a cog in the machine, which is your brand. So if you're starting off, you know, really in trying to build this authority, you're probably just gonna be posting a bunch of texts, you know, messages or Facebook live posts, which is perfectly fine. But as you begin to scale your content to really put yourself out there as an authority, then you're gonna need to take a step back and create content that really reinforces your brand so that people know that when they see a post that you've created that doesn't necessarily have your face, they're gonna know that it's you. Your brand is the vehicle that carries your mission, your vision, and your core values to the marketplace. It acts as a billboard to show prospects that you are authentic, trustworthy, and an authority. So if you're really starting off, you know, just trying to build that authority, it may not be a massive priority to you yet, but it is gonna be one of the things that I highly recommend that you, you know, eventually end up creating as you start to really expand your authority and your expertise. And it's really to start creating a brand style guide or a brand Bible. By the way, created another great video on that, leaving it in the description below as well. And also up here. All right, really the idea here and really to bring this full circle is that when you're posting on Facebook or Instagram or YouTube or, uh, you know, if you're creating postcards to be sent out, you wanna carry the same visual message, uh, you know, consistently across all mediums and you do that by really visually creating a stylistic brand. All right, strategy number five is to be reactive. This essentially means that if there's something big that popped up in the industry, or if there's some crazy objection that you've heard from a prospect, use this as fuel to your content fire. The idea here is that by listening to the marketplace on a regular basis for big breaking news, then you should be taking that news and being reactionary to it. To reinforce you as the authority, you need to be able to be up to date on current events and provide your own opinions about how it affects your prospects or your clients. You see, these types of reactionary events are really perfect times for you to submit yourself as an authority. If there's something in the marketplace that you feel that is 
riveting or rivaling your business, you can easily control the narrative by staying more on top of current events than your competition. Alrighty, this is a lot to take in, but I hope you found some value in this. By the way, comment section below, I wanna know, if you guys are trying to become an authority, I wanted to kind of get a feel out there for you guys watching, type in build authority in real estate in the comment section below. Let me know that that's really your goal, to start building authority in this digital marketing kind of marketplace. Now, the reason I bring this topic up in this video is specifically because most agents um, are looking for an alternative to really what they've been taught by most brokerages, which is, you know, hey, go out there and grind and get on the phones and grind or get on the streets and grind. Um, but at the end of the day, there's another option for you to find success in real estate. And really, this strategy relies on you and how committed you are to becoming an authority. You see, success in this authority game in digital marketing, well, conversely, you know, success in the more um, traditional way of, you know, building your real estate business through, you know, hitting the phones or hitting the streets, it really boils down to one thing. And that one thing is committing the time to making sure that you eventually find success in doing the repetitions. Now, whether you go down one path of, you know, building authority through creating content or, you know, hitting the streets and hitting the phones and, you know, prospecting for new clients, you're going to need to put in the reps and you're going to need to build that muscle of repetition to really find that the seeds that you're planting now will start to bear fruit over time. By the way, if you're looking for some strategies to help build some authority in your niche or in your marketplace, then I highly recommend that you join the conversation in our free Facebook group, leaving the link in the description below. However, if you're looking for a framework that you can follow with like a step-by-step -step process with directions and a methodology to really place you in the position to become an authority, it's one of the things that we actually specialize in and I highly recommend that you click that button to schedule a strategy session with myself, leaving it in the description below as well. I'm happy to talk shop and really get into the nitty gritty of strategy and tactics to really brand you as an authority. Uh, schedule a call, link in the description below. All right guys, I really hope you enjoyed the video and I hope you're gonna make an honest commitment to yourself to really start positioning yourself as an authority, at least in the near future. Overall, just want to say have an amazing day and I will catch you on the next video. So long.